Caddis Maximus here this time with a review of the Performance Tool W83204. I'll include the part number in the bottom. These are internal pipe extractors, a three piece set advertised as three eighths, half inch, and three quarter inch. But as we'll find, they're actually sized for metric. And I did get these on Memorial Day sale for five bucks. I think they're normally twice that, ten bucks. Um, but it's a bit deceiving. I actually did pick these up. And uh, what does it say? It doesn't say on here, but all printed on the stamped on the side of them is clear. You know, we've got three quarter inch and we've got half inch, but they're missized. Even the three eighths, this is the one that you would actually use for a three eighths fitting. Here's a three eighths fitting and it just doesn't, doesn't want to fit in there. It's more than deep enough to accept it. This is a uh, 13 30 seconds drill bit which is larger than a 3 8 it's 0 0.406 it goes in there just fine so that's my main issue with these just to I guess start off the bat otherwise they are handy and for the five bucks I paid I'm still happy because these types of extractors are hard to find at least locally stocked and I thought about ordering some but these just kind of caught my eye how these work is they have this hardened steel little cam here and they just have the this extractor which looks like a straight fluid extractor but this is just to provide bite on the outside of the wall of the pipe and then it has this little cut down area that's round but it isn't cut down in the middle you can see that it's cut off to one side so as you put it in the tube this side kind of presses against the wall a little bit and then this side presses against the opposite wall and as it cams out it pushes this apart basically it becomes wider and then it uses it to extract the tube now of course these do have some issues with soft tubing or particularly thin wall tubing maybe something more along the lines of this there can be an issue where this can kind of dent the outside wall of the tube as it pushes through if it's really stuck and many times uh, pipe fittings if they're corroded can just have an amazing amount of force that it takes to get them out but really, it's not too much more of an issue. It just happens to be a lot of pressure. And every once in a while, I was reading online where they kind of press out the side of the wall and kind of damage the threads on their way out. But at least they got the fitting out and the threads were good enough to still use. Now, what I also mean by metric is that you drive them with metric. Now, even though this says 3 eighths, and so you might be inclined to think, oh, maybe the hex is half inch. It's not. We have a uh, right there a, a snap-on half-inch socket and it simply will not go into that socket. And then we have something which is only slightly larger, 13 millimeter, that's a proto there, and uh, goes in there just fine, just fine. So that's the other part of the deception is that it, they kinda said, found these on some you know Chinese manufacturer, I'm sure that's where they're made, yep, made in China. And they were metric and they just you know ordered a bunch and asked if they could stamp fractional sizes onto them. So the real deal is the 3 8 one really will work for, I mean, tubing and pipe is ready for internal diameter. This, the minimum size, the range of the 3 8 one is 450 thousandths to 550 thousandths. So about 12 to 14 millimeters. The next size up works from like 5 8 to 9 16 It's really pretty oddball. And then this one would be like a 17 millimeter through 19 or 20 millimeter. And since 17 is so close to 3 quarters of an inch, the very minimum size you could just squeeze this into the uh, fitting. And it really is unfortunate. Here with this little piece of tubing here, this drill bit goes all the way through. Once again, it's a 406, so larger than 3 8 And no matter what you do with this thing, you just can't get it to uh, get in there. So they are kind of made cheaply, I think, on one of these. Yeah, this one. You can see where that was during manufacturing where that tooth got dented and you know that can be an issue that isn't in the area of the highest bite but still you know that's unfortunate because that would make it slip and really become less than useful so anyway these are pretty simple to use you just put them in and then you try to get them as deep as possible or at least centered if it's a small section of tubing and then you can just twist and the one reason thing i really liked about them was the fact that they are bi-directional so if you are trying to remove a broken off piece of pipe from the direction that you installed it uh, which is most times and you know you'd be uh, doing it in a counterclockwise fashion but sometimes you are able to get to the back side of where the tubing was broken off at and you would need to screw it 
clockwise and that's you know the opposite direction and it allows you to do that so it's real handy even in the odd situation where you have left hand threads uh this will work and so i did like how well these work i have read where sometimes they break in really heavy duty situations but it's not super often I figured I'd just do a quick review just to kind of clear that up with these as they just are appearing to sell metric ones uh, in place of Imperial. And the unfortunate thing is that the 3 8 one just simply doesn't fit inside uh, a 3 8 fitting. Oh, and on the last thing in note here, I uh, had a friend who was complaining about extractors because he said those extractor went all the way in and then started stripping out. So I'm going to address this real fast in this video since we're talking about extractors anyway at least most extractors they uh, will have the size of drill hole drilled hole that they need uh, printed right on kind of like this hand somewhere it says it needs a 13 30 second extractors holes are drilled small so that they have maximum opportunity to get these helixes to, to go in so we can see here's that 13 30 seconds drill bit it is the size of the tip of the extractor and I just wanted to dispel that myth. Extractors, you just drill the hole as small as possible while still allowing enough room just to be able to get the extractor started. We can see on this piece of tubing here, it, that would be a little bit deep, but that would be okay. This would be considered okay. Maybe a little bit too deep, but I just wanted to point that out. Anyway, I wanted to do this review because somebody's going to end up with these and they, you know, and they have all this you know, household broken heater hose feedings, household plumbing. You know, they're the sizes again, and uh, you're going to find that it they aren't going to fit. But happily, if you know that they're metric and they can be used on maybe half inch through three quarter inch and no three eighths, uh, then you would have more, you know what to expect. And you need to order an individual one that actually does work on three eighths. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't su subscribed, please do. Until next time, Catus Maximus out.